The Duchess of Cambridge stunned at the BAFTAs this week in a white Alexander McQueen gown, complete with a couple of treasured items. On her wrist, the diamond catrefoil bracelet, a favourite of the Queen's, which once belonged to the Queen Mother. And in a tribute to Princess Diana, Kate wore this dazzling pair of earrings, made of rare South Sea pearls and suspended from a diamond drop, drawing comparisons to her late mother-in-law in more ways than one. Diana was no stranger to a one-shoulder dress, much like Meghan, who chose this Givenchy number for her surprise appearance at the British Fashion Awards. Taking inspiration from Diana, Meghan too has worn her jewellery. Here, during a visit to Sydney, she wore a pair of diamond butterfly-shaped earrings. Meghan has made her own mark on fashion, opting for clean, sleek and modern looks. And Princess Diana also wasn't afraid to put her own spin on style. The Queen Mother gifted her a diamond brooch, featuring a huge Sri Lankan sapphire to mark her marriage to Prince Charles. Diana wore the brooch a couple of times before having the sapphire reset into a breathtaking pearl choker, becoming one of her most iconic looks. One of the Queen Mother's most special pieces is the lotus flower tiara. It was often worn by Princess Margaret and later by Kate at a Chinese state banquet. Another priceless heirloom borrowed by Kate was this amazing diamond necklace, a gift to mark the Queen's marriage in 1947. While William famously used his late mother's 12-carat sapphire ring to propose to Kate, it's thought Prince Harry gave Meghan Diana's aquamarine ring, which she wore for her wedding reception. The Queen lent both Kate and Meghan tiaras for their own wedding days. For Kate, the Cartier tiara with nearly 900 diamonds to its name and given to the Queen on her 19th birthday. It originally belonged to her mother, a gift from King George VI. And for Meghan, this diamond bando, a tiara created by Queen Mary in 1932 and bequeathed to her granddaughter, Queen Elizabeth, ensuring the legacy of royal glamour would live on for generations. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong.